This is problem number 9. And it says, given the functions f of x and g of x such that, and it lists a whole bunch of conditions. f of 3 is 2, f prime of 3 equals 1, f prime of 5 equals 4, um, f g of 3 equals 5, g prime of 3 equals 3, and g prime of 5 equals 1 half. So don't get overwhelmed. I know that's a lot of information. So just get, list all this information. It says, if f of x is equal to f of g of x, or when written like this, f of g of x, find f prime of 3. So it looks really complicated, but it's kind of like a puzzle that first we have to put all the right things in order, and then we're going to fill them in. And then it's just plug and chug. So looking at this, we need to differentiate it, right? Because this is f of x, and we want f prime of x. So f prime of x is going to be equal to the derivative of the outside, so that's going to be f little f prime of g of x, the inside stays the same, times the derivative of the inside, g prime of x. And so that is our chain rule. And so now it wants to know f prime of 3. So we've got big f prime of 3 is equal to, and anytime we see an x, we go and fill it with a 3. So that gives me f prime of g of 3 times g prime of 3. Well, g of 3, and so now we can just fill it in. g of 3, according to the list of information they give us, is 5. So this is going to be f prime of 5 times g prime of 3 is 3 times 3. And now we just need to go look up what f prime of 5 is. It's 4. So we have 4 times 3, and that will be equal to 12, which is c. And that is your answer. So don't be overwhelmed with the amount of information that they give you. 